October is National Disability Employment Awareness Month. Now the purpose is to educate people about disability employment issues and to celebrate the many and varied contributions of America's workers with disabilities. There's tons of them. Colleen Starkloff is the founder of the Starkloff Disability Institute and she is here this morning to help share their message. And we were just joking during Steve Harris's live shot about how you see the world through a lens of accessibility. But that speaks volumes about who you are and your passion for this. So. Uh, to try to set the table for people at home, to tell us what the statistics say about disabled folks who are unemployed but still looking for work. The promise of the Americans with Disabilities Act was to it, it level the playing field so more people with disabilities can enter the workforce. Unfortunately, 29 years after the passage of the ADA, 80% of people with disabilities are not even in the workforce at all. Now mm. that's for different reasons, age, Sure. you know, what or whatever, are, are not able to work. Mm -hmm. But 60% of those individuals who are capable of working are not working. The other worrisome issue is that 54% of college students with disabilities aren't in the workforce either. They struggle wow. to find jobs. I know so those, we're working on that. I, I, I know that doesn't sit well with you. And uh, let me ask the obvious question, why? It, it, I assume it's because these people obviously have value and there's demonstrations of that everywhere you look, if you look in the right place. When you, when you live with a disability, you become innovative, creative, think outside the box, mm -hmm. time man, good time manager, good strategist, and you have to be a good people person. If my husband wasn't a good people person, he wouldn't have been able to get a bathed and dressed and out of bed every day. And those are transferable skills to the workforce. And when you bring us into the workforce, and I have a disability myself, um, we, we enhance your bottom line. I believe it. I, I, and We're I, creative. I, I think when you can provide people tangible examples of that, they'll believe it too. So tell right. us a little bit about what the Starkloff Institute does. The Starkloff Disability Institute practices what it preaches. 80% of our, our staff are people with disabilities. I have ADHD. Mm -hmm. We have people with spinal cord injuries, muscular dystrophy, low vision, um, other types of disabilities on our staff. All give 150%. Mm. The other thing is we... Um, just released on our website a National Disability Employment Awareness Month NDEAM toolkit, which gives advice to uh, employers about tips, etiquette, press releases, newsletter articles, right. things that can help them get started to create a culture of disability and welcome people with disabilities into their workforce. Board. Correct yeah. me if I'm wrong, I would imagine you have to reach out to business leaders, to HR managers. Is there a way to sort of show them what the possibilities are? We, we would love for companies to call us up and come down and take a tour of our office and meet our staff. Mm -hmm. um, we, they show people how they use technology to perform their jobs with excellence, answer questions. We make it, we make it very possible. And with companies now wanting to be diverse and inclusive and more welcoming, right. And some are federal contractors and try to get 7% of their workforce, people with disabilities. We, we are the workforce, workplace, disabilities advisors, and we believe St. Louis works best when everybody works. Colleen, I can feel your passion, and I appreciate it Thank a lot. You. you will, too, if you meet with her. If you'd like a tour of their office or any information on their programs, we're going to make it easy for you. Just give them a call, 314-588-7090. Or you can email them. That would be info at starkloff.org. And, of course, we'll post this segment on our website, Kent. You it's can just, share it. Let people know. It's just good business. If you want to put the, yes. the feel-good stuff aside, it's just good business. There, you, you hear people talk every day in business about there's no good people out there. There's no good candidates. We can't find the people. They're there. You're missing a whole segment of the population Bingo. that is fully qualified for yep. these jobs. You got it. Thanks, good guys. Good business.